Here we are. Time to make things happen. This is our normal brake test situation for the new Echo 3 spay rods. We're set up in the proper fixture. Jamie has a job to do. What are you breaking? Uh, it is our new Echo 3 8134, the 8-weight 13-foot 4 rod. Randy, what are you doing? I'm standing here watching. All right. Well, let's see what this thing will do, Jamie. So we're going to slowly pull on this rod. I can't even zoom back far enough, but you can see the rod starting to load up there. So we pull that tip down slowly, smoothly, to make sure there's no bouncing or anything. And at the bottom of this is a pulley hooked up to a load cell down there at the bottom, you can see. So we're starting to get this to load in to the butt section real well. So the middle of the rod has gone through a lot of torquing. And one of the things that we want to make sure happens is that this rod hits our spec. And right now, as you can see, that rod tip is well below the handle. This would be like a crazy extreme situation it's getting crazier by the second here. That is serious, strong, crazy, ouch. No way. Ah, is it gonna break? Three, two, one. Woo -hoo -hoo. That broke at 12, over 12 pounds at vertical lift on an eight weight. So Jamie, that was a badass looking bend. That was, that, that looked real good. That looked good. Looked pretty bad to me. Look what's left. But bad is good. <laughs> so you can see what this did to this handle. There's so much stress on that that it totally blew up the bottom of this rod. So if you can make that happen to your rod, I commend you because that means you hooked something so big it blew up your new Echo 3.